Hey, Dory Friend here for DoryFriend.com and SEO Nitro. And this is the second part of the Google uh, Code Daddy PageRank curse. Now, if you watched the last video, you'll know that when I was buying sites from the deleted domain market and checking them on FreshDrop, that even though FreshDrop had reported them with PR, I was going to the sites like this one right here and it was producing no PR. So I further um, noticed that the sites that were, sh were reporting PR and that indeed did have PR when I'd go to them were sites that did not have the GoDaddy parked page. So what was happening and still is happening is that when Google sees that GoDaddy parked page, they strip the domain of PageRank. So if you're into buying, you know, um, old websites for your SEO strategies like I am because I'm always talking about building your own SEO link network and that's how I do it to, to make it uh, uh, a lot faster than building my own um, structure, you know, uh, from the ground up. I go out and buy deleted domains from, from, um, from the different uh, aftermarket places and these are old websites that already have links to them already have age and so they're really really valuable but it was really scaring me and I was spending a lot of money and losing page rank so so when I saw that even even as quickly as fresh drop reporting them and then going to the page and they were reporting no page rank I, you know I was like hey I gotta back up and do some testing here so I did and I bought five sites and these are the sites that I bought uh, that day these are the sites that I bought that that FreshDrop was reporting that they had PageRank, but SEO Chat's PageRank tool said they were a uh, zero, and when I went to the page, indeed, they still were a zero. These sites here were sites that I purchased uh, that did not have the GoDaddy parking page, and they were sh indeed showing PR, and it, except for two of them, and this one being one of them, because it obviously has uh, the GoDaddy park page on it now, uh, they all retained their page rank. So what my goal was, was to set these sites up or at least get them hosted and that's what I did. I had my technician host these sites and wait uh, a month to see whether they were going to come back. So I am really, 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 <laughs> oh, really, really glad to report that, 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 the, that the sites came back, their PR came, came back. Well, and uh, it's almost as strong as it said it was going to be. Um, this one was a PR4, it, uh, Fresh Drop had said it was, and, and it is indeed now a PR4. This one dropped, uh, the health blog here that went from a 3 to a 2, which still is fine, you know, it's still, it's still in there. Um, 3, that one stayed the same, and our petition uh, stayed the same. And actually, you know, this was the only one that, that came into my account with PR. So it takes a couple days for it, once you purchase it, for it to go through and actually get into your um, account. But this was the only one that came in with, the, with PR. I had to set these others up uh, for them to get PR. Now you'll notice I have eFiltrate in there. That's only because this tool sometimes uh, doesn't report accurately and I'll, I'll show you because I had just done um, a test on this. Well, not a test, it's a search, you know, right before this one. And you can see it came up with all zeros. So I always put it in a domain that I know has a page rank and that I know uh, eFiltrate has a page rank of two because it's one of my sites that I check regularly. So I always throw that in there to make sure that the tool is working. Now I can't fault um, SEO chat for, you know, s sometimes the tool working and not. I mean, they even put a disclaimer here because, you know, Google's constantly uh, setting up uh, uh, or blocking our, our automated queries when we're testing and stuff like that. So. So just if you're using this tool, you just may want to know that sometimes this was, is going to happen. And put in a site that you know know have has page rank. So um, very happy to see this. And let me tell you, let me show you what I just did to do these tests on all five of those sites. All I did was have my technician put in um, uh, change the name servers and put them hosted on a you know they were an add-on domain and a host. So none of them you can, we can go through here right now. None of them actually have a website on them, but they do uh, have their page rank, and they are also in Google's index. Uh, and they quickly were found and respidered. Here we can go through this because of all the links that are going to them from 
when they were, you know, sites, websites that other people were, you know, had owned and were working. So that's why I like buying sites, and I'm really, really glad that the Google uh, GoDaddy page rank curse is just temporary if you set up a site or at least host it. You don't even have to set up the whole site, but uh, it looks like if you just get it hosted with that index page, it 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 will redeem itself. It redeems itself in Google um, and it gets its PR back. And as you can see with this one, which is still holding that uh, parked page, it, and it still is retaining no page rank. It's still stripped. So uh, with that, that is the completion of the Google GoDaddy parking curse. So what is the moral to this story? It is that if you're buying sites through FreshDrop, not through, well, looking up, doing your research in FreshDrop or any of the other tools, and you're buying sites at GoDaddy, that when you come across uh, the conflicting information that uh, uh, one says it has PR, and then when you go to the site it doesn't have PR, uh, or other tools, you know, can be giving you conflicting information because they might be uh, getting their their page rank tests from different places. That pro in probability, now this is, you know, I just did five sites here. I haven't done a hundred, but in, in probability, if you set up a site quickly, uh, you know, just host it, get that uh, the index up uh, seems to redeem it, and you will get your page rank back. Now, of course, I'm going to be, you know, testing this more and more um, since Google is stripping those uh, GoDaddy Park pages. And, you know, if it comes up that it's any different, like if I have a larger scale, I'll report on that. But for now, I think, you know, the, the, out of these five sites that I bought, all five of them came back, and that's pretty good, and I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. All right, Dory Friend, over and out.